Hey, Vsauce here. But today, it's all about crystals. Let's dive into the shimmering, structured world of these natural marvels. Did you know the word crystal comes from the Greek word for ice? It's because the ancients believed some crystals were formed from ice so cold it never melted. Crystals aren't just about aesthetic appeal. They are scientifically fascinating. They're solids where atoms, molecules or ions are meticulously packed in a repeating pattern, forming what's known as a crystal lattice. This structure is what gives crystals their characteristic outward shape, a neat polyhedron with flat faces, sharp edges and definitive vertices. Here's where it gets even cooler, literally. The process that forms these amazing structures is called crystallization. It can happen naturally when conditions like supercooling or increased solution concentration come into play, or even from the presence of tiny seed crystals that prompt the growth of larger ones. And speaking of cool, let's talk about snowflakes. Each one is a unique ice crystal, usually forming high in the clouds where water vapor freezes. All snowflakes share a hexagonal symmetry because of the way water molecules bond at 60 or 120 degree angles nature's own geometric art. But not all crystals come from nature. Humans have mastered the art of creating them too, using techniques that transform molten solutions or gases into structured marvels. Each mineral crystal can be grown through specific artificial processes tailored to its properties. The largest natural crystals on Earth. They're found in Mexico, housed in two awe-inspiring caves over 300 meters below the surface. Some of these giants, made of selenite, stretch up to 15 meters long. Just imagine standing next to one of them. Crystals are more than just science. They're a part of our daily lives. From the salt in our food, to the liquid crystal displays in our smartphones, even the chocolate we enjoy. Yes, chocolate. The study of these fascinating structures and their properties is known as crystallography. And while they might seem perfect, real crystals have defects. These imperfections can influence everything from how crystals look to how they function. So next time you admire a crystal, remember, you're holding a piece of structured, often millennia old, science in your hand. The world of crystals is truly limitless. Dive deeper. Who knows what secrets you'll uncover in their sparkling depths. Thanks for watching. Stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of the world around us until next time.